Hello, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to another episode on the Vintage Craft server. So today we are starting out down in the basement. I just wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of quick little changes we're going to make down here. So um, I ended up opening up this uh, wall here, just kind of sort of combining this in here to make this look a little bit nicer. I uh, might have to make a few changes there yet, but um, haven't got in gotten to work on this area too much yet. Um, one problem I was having down here is it seems like some of these leaves are actually despawning, um, even though they're not, um, they shouldn't be because they were placed down manually. So that's a little bit of an issue I'm having with the decorations in here. But yeah, I opened this area up here so now we have uh, access to the cave um, and the outside from the bottom of this door as well as the other back door here. Um, but today I have got some big plans for this episode. Big plans, guys. Hope you are all very excited for this video. And as to of all my videos, um, this video is actually I'm being recorded right now before the previous video is going to be released. So this one might take me uh, a little while to get finished, but hopefully it uh, comes out in the next couple days here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Definitely leave a like on the video if you are, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Don't forget about that part. Um, definitely helps me out a whole bunch. Um, so, we've got a handful of obsidian here that is going to be a very important role in today's episode. So, the first thing I would like to do is right in this area here, we are going to... Ooh, I'll have to fill over that on the top, but basically we are just going to build ourselves another portal here. Um, now that we have access to the nether um, and been doing some things in there, I would like to get myself my own nether portal built up. Oh, that was terrific. Thank you for the block lag on that one. Here we go. Um, yeah, so like I've been saying, um, we are going to, there we go, finally, okay. Uh, actually, let's do something with the back of this too. Let's decorate this a little bit. Um, we're gonna have anything behind that one? I don't think so. Um, and by decorate, I mean I'm basically what? I thought those were slabs. Did those just change on me? Oh, jeez. Some weird things are going on here today. What the heck? Um, basically, for now, I'm just gonna fill this in with slabs, uh, stone slabs, so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be our Nether portal. Ooh, maybe. I might want to put wood behind there instead, actually. Let's try that once and see what I like better. Uh, I should still have a little bit of wood over in this stash over here, so let's try this. Oh yeah, I think that's going to look a lot better to put the uh, wooden slabs behind there instead of the stones. So let's do that. We got a couple of dirt. Yes, okay. so. Perfect, that looks great. Um, so I'm not gonna light that yet because I wanna make sure that I link it up to the one that we're gonna build in the nether first before I light it. So um, I took down some coordinates. I was in there earlier just to kind of prepare for this and make sure I know where I'm gonna put some stuff. Um, so I did a little bit of math there and figured out where I need to have those portals so they can link up. Um, before I forget, let's go back here and throw these dirt blocks right there to cover up the portal from the outside. So that looks a little bit uh, nicer from there. We don't want that to be sticking out. Oh, and actually that just reminded me on uh, the squid there that we have sold already uh, the entire chest I had at spawn with the ink sacks in it um, already sold completely out. So I've already made like 15 or 20 diamonds from that, I think. So that's pretty cool. I've got um, got the whole thing filled up again off camera. I've been doing um, some squid farming, and that kind of stuff, keeping that thing stocked up. But um, yeah, so now that we got the portal in the house built, we're actually going to head into spawn um, and go into the nether there and go put up the other portal before we do um, any lighting or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be in the nether and then I'll meet you guys when I get there. Okay, so now we are in the nether in a very uh, secret and disclosed location. And this is basically where uh, my portal is going to be, I believe. So hopefully I've got the uh, numbers right on this spot here. But this should do the trick. So actually, I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to light this portal. I should have actually lit the portal at my base as well. Um, but we're going to light this portal. We're going to go back to my base, light that portal, and then come through. And that should bring me into here. Um, and then we're going to do some stuff 
up in that area right around there. So let's go back to my base and light the other portal quick. All right, back at the base. Hopefully this thing works. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just, let's do it. Hopefully it lines up, please. No, that's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a problem. Where am I? Ooh, okay, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong in there and move that, possibly move one of those to make that work. I'm not really sure. All right, so I moved my portal from that end of the base to this end of the base. Hopefully, um, this will line up a little bit better than the one I had in the nether. There was a few other things in the way that I didn't want to get too close to in the nether one so that's why it was where it was but let's hope the uh, hopeless uh, hope this works <laughs> and no what the hell this portal is not even close mm. this is annoying all right um hmm okay i don't know what i'm gonna do about that all right so for now i'm just gonna uh not worry about the portal linking up thing it's not that that important that i have my own portal to nether just yet um but the more important part is part of the video we're trying to get to today is we are going to try to get on the roof of the nether so um i think pretty much i should have everything i need for this so um hopefully it all works out all right so let's try to get up here and we'll get up here. So I should be able to put a minecart down up here. So this uh, right here is on uh, the, if you can see the looking at, I'm looking at, um, what is that, Y level 127. So that should be um, the roof, the very top roof. There should only, that should be the last layer before um, the open nether. So Basically, what we're going to try to do is put a minecart down right there. Let me just make sure I've got everything else I need. Um, I have got ender pearls. I've got obsidian to make a portal at the top to get back. I've got an ender chest. I have, let's see, instant health potion if I need it, if things get, uh, get to be any issues. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much as ready as I'm going to get. So um, let's go for it. Basically, I'm going to get into this minecart. I'm going to try to jump and throw an ender pearl. Hopefully. There we go. All right. <laughs> we made it up. So only other problem, which isn't too big of a problem, but yeah, we're on the nether. Sweet. Um, so another thing I was thinking is I should have tried to check um, where I came up uh, through, but that should be all right. So let's just put a sign here to say... Um, made it to the roof top made it to the top trooper trooper let's see what uh let's see today's date we'll throw on here maybe oops all right so we'll mark that kind of as a, a memory or you know sort of like a you would with a space landing or something else but it's awesome. It doesn't look like anyone else has been up here yet, so that is very cool. We're going to go ahead and put down um, an ender chest here off to the side, and then we're going to go ahead right away and uh, build ourselves a new portal so we'll be able to whoops, uh, get back to the overworld. Uh, so let's do that. Get a couple more blocks here. Over. Bam. Boom. Let's eat before I hurt myself anymore. <laughs> All right, get rid of this block. Oh, wow. That is not how you build a portal. <laughs> oh, man, that's kind of funny. Whoops. So let's do this. Try to fix this up. Good thing I brought some some extra stuff and all that. So uh, if that one break, I'm not sure. Yep. All right, cool. Last one here. Get this going. All right, this is it. really exciting, guys. So basically what the plan is um, for the rest of this episode, uh, like I said, it might take me a little while, but... I'm planning on building a gold and XP farm, so 
Uh, hopefully we can get a nice, uh, efficient golden XP farm up and running. Get us lots of XP and gold, obviously, um, and all that kind of stuff. So let's light this guy up. Um, yeah, and let's... Uh, so basically now the only issue we have is whenever we want to come up here, um, we're going to have to use that same minecart method until we can um, get a dragon egg or some other way to... Um, get up to the roof of the nether so definitely gonna need more ender pearls and stuff like that for that but uh, I did not bring all the materials I'm gonna need to build the farm with me yet because I'm not even sure if I have them all yet to be honest so uh, we're gonna go back to the overworld and I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm ready to start building this thing all right so I got a pillar built up here with little ladders on it um, it's about two stacks high that should get us up uh, about as far as we can without hitting the build limit before we can uh, um, basically try to make this farm as efficient as, efficient as possible. It might still be kind of slow seeing as there's so many people on the server all the time. Um, but basically now we're just going to go with the donut design and build a, a bunch of spawn platforms around uh, the top of there. So I'm going to do that in a little bit of a time lapse here hopefully and then um, we'll catch up with you once we got that built up. So I just pretty much went ahead uh, and finished up the entire farm for the most part. So I've got one entire platform all the way around the perimeter here. Um, I went 28 blocks in between um, this platform or the center of this platform uh, where that's going to drop and where that is. So hopefully we'll be able to get some spawns. It actually looks like the, that is going to be our first pigment that I've seen in the farm so far. Um, I, as I was building this, I kind of started to wonder and worry. Uh, I'm not sure if this farm is really going to be very productive because of how many people are on the server and all that kind of stuff. Um, so spawn rates actually might be pretty terrible, to be honest. Um, but let's just go ahead and show you what I've got so far. So um, these little platforms here, I actually planned on getting a couple pigmen, uh, naming them, putting them on these platforms so that I can use them to uh, maintain the aggro of the guys that are on here. So basically how this farm's supposed to work is basically you're supposed to be able to aggro the pigmen. Uh, if I can shoot one of these guys, turn off, of course, I'm going to knock them off too. Um, so they're supposed to be, you know, be able to get spawns all the way around uh, this entire platform. I might have to build up a couple more platforms to give me some more uh, areas to have spawns available. But then basically they're all supposed to get mad once you hit them or throw a snowball at them or something like that. Um, and then um, they're all going to funnel around through here. Um, this actually I started to make into a staircase so I can make this uh, another spawning layer. I'm not sure how much higher up I can go here. A couple blocks yet. Um, but I was going to add some more spawn platforms basically. Um, and then all these guys will funnel down through this main line here. And they should go right into this spot here where we've got 25 uh, minecarts sitting um, right down in the bottom there. Um, actually, I, d I built a farm just like this in my uh, Upercraft uh, series, I believe it was. Um, so if you want to see one that is up and functioning, you could check that out. But hopefully we can get this thing um, working eventually. I don't know if it's going to work, like I said, with the way the server is. There's a lot of people. Um, which definitely affects the, the spawn rates of mobs and that kind of stuff. But basically all these 
Um, guys that fall in the chute should land on those minecarts, and because of the new max entity cramming rule, um, they'll basically die, start dying instantly. So they'll all fall in here, and um, they'll all start dying. All their drops will go into these hoppers, and since they are aggroed at the time of their death, um, against me, they'll be angry at me. Uh, they'll drop XP as well. So basically, we should just be able to um, throw a snowball or um, something at one of these guys that is sitting on these platforms, which I might bring them a little bit closer to, so a little bit easier to to get to um, if I can get any of them to spawn up here, that is. Uh, and then basically, you'll just be able to hit one of those guys and make all of them mad, and then uh, they should just pretty much continue funneling into this area. So... Um, yeah, we're going to try to improve the spawn rates as much as possible, but like I said, might have some issues uh, getting things to spawn on this farm. But um, So yeah, that's what I've got so far. Um, hopefully we get some spawns. Looky there, we got a couple of pigmen to spawn. Unfortunately guys, those are um, the only two pigmen we've had in a while here. I had uh, another pack of pigmen spawn, I believe, with four or so maybe, but... It's looking like uh, my worry was going to come true and this farm is not going to uh, really be very effective. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. It was, uh, you know, it's always a, a fun thing to, to build farms and stuff like that. But this uh, is just going to be one that's not going to work out too well on the server, I don't think. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit and see if we can get it to be somewhat usable still. Um, but we're going to have to do that kind of off camera uh, because I'm out of time for this episode today. But hope you guys still enjoyed the video. I know a lot of the things or pretty much all the things we tried didn't really work out quite as planned. But, um, you know, that's how it, just how it goes sometimes. Not everything always works out. So hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did um, or if you would rather see me do things that are successful. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to still put this video together hope you guys enjoyed it definitely leave me a like on the video if you did um, leave any comments if you got any suggestions on maybe ways that we could try to improve the farm with this many people on the server um, all those kind of things uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and we'll see you again next time guys next time we're going to be doing um, some stuff with some of the other members on the server so definitely looking forward to that um, and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video